Hi there again. Um, I have on my blog site so that you can print out uh, how much one inch is in millimeter. So it converts uh, inches to millimeter. And uh, I have uh, made it so if you um, well, write it out on your from your computer or so on, it's uh, half an, an A4 um, measurement, so, so that it will come out on, on half a page. And uh, <clears throat> I thought I would just shortly explain how to read it. It's like this, uh, it says here, one inch is 25 uh, and I can say dot four because I don't know quite how to say comma. Um, <laughs> but you understand what I what I'm saying. So this is a little bit more than 25 millimeter. This number four isn't a real millimeter. It's just a half millimeter, and uh, it's therefore. It gets a little bit tricky because I have here. Let's show you. Uh, if you have, uh, this is an inch, and then I take my centimeters ruler, and then you can see that it's 25 millimeters, but it's 25 by four, so it's it's or not by dot four, and that doesn't matter here. You can, I would score it at, at 25 millimeters if they said one inch. But if you are choosing to to go up on the scale, this uh, half a millimeters gets two millimeters when you come to to about to ten and so on. So. It's good to have a, a template so that you don't have to uh, work it out in your head. Uh, this uh, um, works like this. You have um, the whole inches here, one inch, and then you go down on this table. Oh, I don't know the name. For it in English. <laughs> I hope you can understand me anyway. Uh, but one inch is 25 by 4 millimeters. And then I can choose 4. What is that? And I, this uh, whole 4 is 101 millimeters, 0.6. So um, when it's 0.6, you can choose if you want to have 102 millimeters or 100. A one millimeters. That's be just because it's uh, nearby. But if you have uh, like this, 177 millimeters, 0.8. Well, then you can more accurate uh, uh, say it's 178 um, millimeters. But let's say you have uh, six millimeters and uh, three eighths of an inch. Not six millimeters, six and three eighths of an inch. That's what I want to say. Uh, then you have to <coughs> uh, look in this under six because all these are under the six inches and over six inches but not up to seven so this is where you're going to look and then you have to look on this left side too because uh, you wanted to you want to find out the three of an eight inch and here are this three of an eight inch and then you just follow this line until you come to 
uh, your 6 inch here. And then you can read out 161.9 millimeters. So I would uh, make it 162 millimeters. This is how it works and if you find it difficult uh, to understand uh, these um, different measurements, how it rises, because if you have you have 8 and 4, 8 and 2 and 8 and so on, and I have a, a video for that. Uh, this is just explaining and uh, it will go from the lower up to the higher like this and it will go from 1 and to 12 inches here and I stopped at tw 12 inches um, because uh, our papers that we are working on when scrapping and so on is 12 inches uh, this is because I wanted it not to be too complicated and too many big measurements and so on. Well, hope you have uh, any use for this and that you will have a great day. Thank you. Bye bye.